Hi guys, welcome to Make That Sea Change and thanks for clicking on my landing page to see how I make money with four simple steps. What I'm gonna do here with you today is just show you through those four simple steps. Very quick, not a long video, not gonna keep you here for hours, but I just wanna show you very quickly how the, the four steps work and what they can do to help you set up your very own online business, whether it be through affiliate marketing, whether it be through multi-level marketing, e-commerce, anything else you can think of to do with, with an online business. Let's see if we can turn your passion into an online business. So let's have a look at the four steps that we as we go through. So our first step here is to choose an interest. So we discuss what it is we're trying to, we find what it is that we're trying to build our business around. It could be, as I say, something we're passionate about, it could be something we know a lot about. Then we build our website. I'm going to build you a website today through Wealthy Affiliate, which is the program I've used and is a platform that has taught me how to build, use these four steps. I'm going to show you very, very quickly on how to attract visitors. SEO is a, is, it's not a hard process and there's not a great lot to it, but there is enough there that I really wouldn't want to try and show you all in, in this one quick video. And then I'll show you how you can earn revenue on your site as well. So before, as we start, we as we start to think about our what it is our niche is or what our passion is, we can do some research here. I'm, I'm gathering you've probably got a slight idea of what it is you want to do, whether you have an interest in anything, dogs, pets, hunting, camping, cosmetics, essential oils, um, personal development, making money online, it could be a passion, it could be something you know about, it could be something that you have an interest in, or you just know that there's a market for it. There could be any number of reasons why you're looking into your into your passion or your niche. But the one thing that you do need to be aware of is if you've got such a large niche, it might be something whether you want to think about breaking it down. I'm going to do my demonstration day on coffee, mainly because I just had a coffee and it was delicious. So, and all seriousness, it is quite a big online market. So let's have a look at how we could go about doing that. So the first step, as we said there, is to choose an interest. So let's go into Google and let's just see what our interests are like there. So if I type coffee, you can see there straight away, I've got coffee, coffee beans, coffee grinders, coffee machines that grind beans, coffee machine, coffee maker, etc. These drop downs here are the most common searches around coffee that have been undertaken, I'm, I'm using Google, They all the search engines do the same thing. And it's just a good way to start to see what it is that we might wanna narrow down to if we're trying to find our interest. So if I, for example, choose coffee beans, I'll get all the results for coffee beans. Keep in mind, obviously, that these are all geographically based. Me being in the, on the Coffs Coast of New South Wales and Australia it brings up all the stuff to do with that. But, and I can start to see what things are popular. Buy coffee beans online. Coffee lovers guide to buying coffee beans. Five online sources to buy exceptional coffee beans. Keep that in mind when I start to talk about problem solving in a second as well. Um, Let's scroll to the bottom. Coffee beans online, obviously geographical, I said. Um, Aldi coffee beans, Aldi's worldwide company, coffee beans for sale. Let's try what else, see what else we got. So let's go grind coffee beans. So if we grind our coffee beans, I can see videos come up there. Six simple ways to grind coffee without a grinder. We'll come back to that one and visit that one when we look at our solving problems later on. Um, how to co grind coffee with it without a grinder. Another one is pre-ground coffee better than freshly ground. And you can see how to ground coffee, where to grind coffee, so on and so forth. So we're starting to see that there's a lot of interest in buying coffee. There's a lot of interest in grinding coffee. The next step we can do that as we start to choose our interest is we can go into, I'm in Wealthy Affiliate here and I'm gonna use the Jaxi keyword tool. There's quite a few keyword tools out there, but if you're within Wealthy Affiliate, which is my recommendation, this is where we can go. So let's have a look and see how many people search, I can't type coffee, see how many people search for coffee. 464,290 people, 292 people per month search for coffee. And again, we can see coffee grinder. So people search, 8,000 people search for coffee grinder. Coffee in France, 120 people. Coffee shop franchise opportunities, coffee shop franchises, franchise. Coffee tables, there you go, not really coffee, but you can see the, the variation there. 
Um, you could create a post there and what, what are the best coffee tables to drink your coffee from? So on and so forth. Coffee machines, 6,000, coffee cups, Nespresso, vending machines, so much there. We're seeing a big interest and we're also seeing some sub-niche ideas if you wanted to branch off into a particular area. Let's talk, look at just grinding coffee. See how many people are searching for that. 160, grinding coffee beans at home, 40, 48, 56, 80, 40, 136. Quite a lot of searches for grinding coffee. So I think we've got a pretty good idea in what it is we're looking for as far as a niche. Coffee's not a big niche and it's probably, it's one of the reasons why I chose it for our, our example here is because I can sort of demonstrate to you building a site based on coffee without having to get too deep into sub niches. That said, if you're dealing with something like, I don't know, clothing, for example, Clothing is such a massive niche. You would have you could break it down to men's fashion, women's fashion, plus size, big and tall, babies, kids, sporting, active wear, all sorts of stuff for as far as clothing. So you just think about when you when you whatever it is you want to you want to talk about, think about what that niche will be. Okay, let's now go and go into step two of our little run through here, which is build a website. So I, again, am going to take you into Wealthy Affiliate. So within Wealthy Affiliate, if I go to websites, and I will do a little um, caveat here that I have done a little bit of um, pre-work, a little bit of research here, and some I have prepared some stuff earlier. So I'm going to go into Wealthy Affiliate here, and as I've mentioned in some of my promotional material on my, on my site, with Wealthy Affiliate, if I've started on a free starter membership, I can get a free domain. If I am a premium member, I can go on a domain I own or I can create my own domain. I'm gonna go with a free domain here and I'm gonna call my site Paul's Coffee Cart dot site Rubix, it's available. Now Paul's Coffee Cart dot com is also available. So if I did have that one, I would be able to select that also. My title for my website is Paul's Coffee Cart. And I need to choose a theme. So let's go, let's search for coffee. Only because, um, I mean, there's thousands of, thousands and thousands of themes here. I'm going to choose this one here because I like the look. It's got the black and the and the red and the black and the orange and the like, sorry. And it has a picture there. I mean, all themes can be customized. I'm not going to take you through the entire customization of a theme today. So I'm going to choose that theme. And then within Wealthy Affiliate, that's all I need to do. Get my, my domain name, name my site check my theme and build my website. We can change any of that stuff at any time. We don't have to wait and or we don't have to get it exactly right when we start. We can change that stuff at any time. Okay, so my site is installed and ready to go. It's given me some admin and a password here. Um, I'm not too afraid to show that because once this video is deleted, I will probably delete the site. So it's not like anyone can get in and <laughs> hack my site. Uh, let's log in. And I'm into my site. So you can see I'm where I am here is in the WordPress backend within Wealthy Affiliate. Wealthy Affiliate has its own WordPress backend included. So I can now go in. Let's have a look and I can show you what the site looks like. This is raw. This is without any work having done to it. So I've got Paul's Coffee Cart, just another WordPress site, it says sample page, um, hello world. I can customize all of this as I like to, as I go. I can click on customize here. As I say, I'm not gonna spend too much time playing with this, but if I go to my homepage settings, for example, no, where do I wanna go? I wanna go to site identity, and I'm gonna display a logo. And then I'm going to scroll down to load my logo. Select logo there. I have created a logo. So I created this logo in um, Canva. 
one I prepared earlier, obviously. As I said to you, I have done a little bit of preparation here. So I'm going to select that logo. I'm going to keep it a little bit narrower than what it's done. Pop that image. And you can see I've got my Paul's Coffee Cart there. I want to get rid of that just another website. I could um, I could change that there, you know, for all your coffee needs. Let's publish that. Let's close this here and go to my dashboard. And you can see that, oh, sorry, let's go to my site. Apologies, guys, I've taken my wrong way. Yeah, and you can see I've got my logo there. If I want to change that picture, one last little bit of customization here just to change that picture. So we've got our header, our section back here. Sorry, I just had to pause that for a couple of minutes because I couldn't find where to change the picture. I found it now. So if we go to header options and we go to feature, no, not feature image, but header image, you can see I can change my image. So I'm going to add a new image there. Select a coffee cup that I created previously. I'm going to narrow that down a bit because I just I don't want all that wood there. Get my image. And there is my new image. So if I publish that, close that off, I'll then go back to the site. And there's my new site. So I could play around with that. I actually don't like that logo now that I've looked at it, but I'm not going to spend hours and hours and hours on it. But as you can see, once you create your, your site in Wealthy Affiliate, so I've created my site there. I've adjusted some of the photos. I've added a logo that took about, what, two or three minutes, and it's all done. The training within Wealthy Affiliate will now talk you through how to add you know, your widgets and your menus and customize everything to do with that. If I didn't like that theme, I could then go back into my dashboard, go down to themes, and I could actually just change the theme. You can change your themes at any time. So you're not restricted to a theme, you're not restricted to your setup. I wouldn't be changing a theme every 30 seconds, but, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, as you're starting out in your, in your, in your website, Quite often it does take you a little while to work out what you're doing. Okay, so let's have a look at our third section here. So our next section we're looking at here is to attract visitors. Now, the easiest way for me to explain this to you is to go back into the Google search that we're looking for. There's a couple of steps that we need to, that we, that we consider when we go back to our Google search. So if, again, if our, if our niche is around coffee, We've chosen our niche. Now think about your own searches online. You, you search for things online if you're trying to solve a problem. So the easiest way to attract visitors to your site is to solve problems. There is heaps to do with search engine optimization, which all the training within Wealthy Affiliate will talk you through. But the number one thing is to solve problems. What is it that I'm trying to do? I've just decided that I want to start grinding coffee at home. I'm a coffee connoisseur. I want to know how to grind coffee at home. Grind coffee beans is my way of finding a problem. So you can see here I've got how to grind coffee. Six ways to grind coffee without a grinder. So if I was doing my, my searches, if I was writing my posts and I was writing on grinding coffee, this would be one post that I would consider writing how to grind coffee beans without a grinder. Think of all the problems that you could come up with to do with coffee. How to make the perfect cup of coffee. When should I add the milk? How should I grind my coffee? How long should I store my coffee? How should I store my coffee? What are the best coffee beans to buy? So on and so on and so on. There are so many problems to do with coffee that we can look at it that way. How to grind coffee beans without a grinder. Oh, hang on, let's get rid of the pop-up. So if you're camping or something like that and you've got all your, your coffee beans and you've got being a grinder, how can you do that? So mortar and pestle, how to do it. A blender, how to do it. Rolling pin, how to do it. Hammer, how to do it. Knife, food processor, etc., etc. Now, this is the 
this is a great example this post home grounds post on how to attract visitors to your site because it's got not only is it solving a pro good problem but i can show you some of the seo requirements to help the search engines find these sites quicker because we've done a search here if we go back to our google search he's come up and he's come up in first page there is a joke here on how to where do you hide bo dead bodies on page two of google this guy has done all his seo and his post is coming up on first page some of these things that we do he has got an in a, a link to another page within his site so he's got an internal site last coffee grind size chart you'll ever need so he's talking about how to grind your coffee for different types of taste another problem if you're if you're grinding your coffee and it's too bitter all the time that's a problem that's being solved so he's got internal links he's got demonstrations which are pinterest pins he's got video he's got keywords so his keywords here would be how to grind coffee beans so if we use that and we went back to our wealthy affiliate and did searches you'd probably you'd be able to see how much of his coffee beans so let's um let's open up a new page here for this go to back to our search Oops. i thought i saved that but it didn't work so how to grind coffee beans 348 people 60 traffic if he gets to number one let's just look at how many sites have that 172 not too bad um, how to grind coffee beans without a grinder which is what his that's probably closer to his keywords so he's got 181 average searches per month if he gets to page one he's looking at 31 people to his site per month there's 109 other sites so maybe a little bit high but that's the sort of thing we're talking about so he's got his keywords in there now keywords are what people search for so when i was doing my search i searched for grind coffee beans so i if i do how to grind coffee beans with a blender they are keywords so that's what i'm talking about so he's got keywords within his his post and you can actually see it was the grind coffee beans that came up because that was what was highlighted He's got internal links he's got a couple of videos he would have an external link here somewhere if i can find it to an external page he may or may not um, that's going to another internal site another internal site another internal site he's got comments at the bottom which are always helpful so anyway that's that is a problem solving website how do you solve problems with with your sites you how do you get attracted sorry start that again how do you attract members to your site which is your third thing so we've chosen our interest we chose coffee we built the website you saw that built then wealthy affiliate we attract visitors by writing problem solving posts there's some seoing stuff in there obviously i did, that was a very quick run through of seo earn revenue how do we earn revenue for our website well, that's quite straightforward we can do that quite easily let's go back into our google page i'm going to take you to amazon and i'm going to look up mortar and pestle so i got to get a mortar and pestle here i can create a link to that by going up to my Select that one there, go there and select link text and image. And then I'll copy that code into my website. Again, if you're not sure of code, you'll get help to, to do all that. I, I'm, again, I can't, I haven't got, it's too much time to take you all through that. It's not a hard process, but again, I don't want to waste your time. And I would copy that in my site. So let's go back to our little site that we looked at a second ago. And let's see how he has monetized his site. What is he getting to buy you to buy? So he's got links in here. He 
Yeah, so he's got links in here going off to those products. Um, I saw them a second ago, I can't find them here now. But that's what you could do there is you could copy that Amazon thing into here. So you would have your mortar and pestle listed here. And you could put that Amazon link in right in there and it would show you on your site. I'll show you some of them on mine. Um, let's go to my site. And we'll go to coffee. And if we go to how to make money selling coffee online, which if you have a look at this post, it'll tell you, talk, actually talk you through everything I'm doing now, the four steps. And if we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see what the, so there what the Amazon links look like. So if I wanted to monetize my site, I click on here. That will take me to Amazon. It's got on my, you can't see it on the page here, but it's got all my links on. People click on that, that coffee cup, I make a commission. That's how it's done. So if we revisit our four steps, choose an interest, we chose about coffee. I showed you very, very quickly how to build a website. I showed you that within the Wealthy Affiliate platform that I recommend. Attracting visitors is all about writing problem solving posts that people can assist you with. And if you think about it, you can do that with anything. If you're doing multi-level marketing, if you're doing affiliate marketing, which is what the Amazon stuff's all about, if you're doing e-commerce, it's all about attracting people to your site. There's all the search engine optimization requirements that will get your, your pages um, on page one of Google. But that said, the more problem solving posts you write, the more chance you've got of people finding them, which will increase your results on the search engines as well. And then we earn revenue and we do that by adding affiliate links to our pages. People read all about the mortar and pestle, they click on the mortar and pestle link, off they go and purchase it and you make the commission. Okay guys, I hope that was helpful. As I said, that was just a very quick run through of the four steps that you can use to build an online website. If you have any questions, click on the link and get started. You've got nothing to lose. You can access for free everything I've done on this page today in this video did not would not have cost me a cent. If it was I started with a free website, I use Canva, which is free to create my logo. I've gone into Amazon Associates to get my links, which is totally free. That site, Rubik's site, would work. I haven't published it to a, to the internet, but if I did, it would be a live website and it would work. And to do that, there's just a single button in Wealthy Affiliate which would publish that for me. As I say, I chose not to purely for the fact that it's not a site that I want to continue on with and, and have access to. But that's the process. As usual, if you have any questions, any problems, please reach out through the website links on my page. Go to How to Sell Coffee Online if you wish. I guarantee you that will talk you through in a great more detail of everything I've just discussed. And I hope to see you inside of Wealthy Affiliate soon. Thanks guys, have fun, speak to you soon, bye.